a network of channels through which the water rushes at every turn of the tide, separates the island of Vancouver from the mainland. These must be negotiated at slack water when the channels are calm, which, as we're about to see, is only a short and temporary condition. We had timed our arrival in Yakulta Rapids to be exactly at low water slack, which can last as little as four minutes. We headed for the lodge on Dent Island, situated at the very center of three major rapids. By the time we had moored and gone ashore, the channel alongside the lodge had already been transformed from a dry rivulet to a fast flowing stream with bull kelp signposting the swift current. The lodge runs a powerful jet boat to take visitors through all three rapids at maximum flow, starting with Aaron. This is something which should never, ever be contemplated in anything but a specialized vessel driven by an experienced helmsman. It was a thrilling and unforgettable ride. Keep in mind that this is not a river, but simply the flow of the tide powered by the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon. In just three hours, this water will once again be still, before reversing its flow with equal ferocity. On the rocks along the Aran shore, a pair of black bears forage for mussels, while bald eagles watch for fish thrust up to the surface by the violent turbulence. On to the Yakulta and then Dent Rapids. Seals rest nonchalantly on the rocks, just inches away from the maelstrom.
The channel alongside the lodge was now a significant torrent. Waters in the adjacent marina were peaceful, but the docks crowded with participants, returning from a successful fishing tournament. After a great meal and a peaceful evening, we continued the following morning. Now at Slack, it was hard to believe that these were the same Dent Rapids we had passed through in the jet boat just a few hours earlier. <laughs> 